Welcome to CNET Top 5, where each time we meet, we count down another trenchant CNET list. I'm Tom Merritt. Technology and art have been mixing it up for years. In fact, some of the coolest combinations are public art, where your work has to resist the ravages of time and weather, as well as compete with noise and distractions from the city around you. Want to see what we mean? Let's count down the most impressive pieces of high-tech public art in the world today. At number five, Jim Campbell's light bulb grids. Proving high resolution is not always best. Take that, Sony. Campbell takes nearly all the video pixels away and replaces what's left with old-fashioned light bulbs, creating some truly haunting shadowy images. Coming in at number four, Impersonator by Janet Zweig. When you enter the Instructional Technology Center at Santa Fe Community College, you'll trigger a sentence on the overhead flip disk display. The sentences are generated by a computer program and they never repeat, resulting in phrases like, welcome aboard the transient virus of marriage, and ask me to tell you about Gertrude Stein. I hear that all the time. I wonder if this thing could pass the Turing test. Up to number three, more words of wisdom in the Hall of Ideas by David Small and Howard Ben Trey. Projected letters and words flow from a fountain spilling onto the floor and swimming up the walls where they arrange themselves into inspirational quotations. You can find it at the Mary Baker Eddy Library in Boston, and it's beautiful. Sliding in at number two, Movable Type by Mark Hansen and Ben Rubin. This is not the blogging software Web 2.0, folks. It's a major piece of public art in the lobby of the New York Times building. 560 vacuum fluorescent displays present a dynamic portrait of the paper's daily output and archives going back to 1851, plus the activities of visitors to nytimes.com. There's some powerful parsing programs at work here, producing some pretty startling results. Before we get to number one, let's take a look at some of the other outstanding examples of high-tech public art. Electroland has too many cool projects to pick just one. All right, let's get to our number one, our favorite high-tech public artwork. At number one, it's Nosy by Christian Moeller. Stroll down this street in Osaki City, Tokyo, and you'll find yourself picked up and tracked by a robotic video camera and your image displayed on three huge towers covered with white LEDs. Like the Muppet Elmo, Nosy somehow manages to be creepy and cute at the same time. Nice one, Mr. Moeller. Well, that's it for this top five. You can find links to these artworks on our blog at blog.cnettv.com. Many thanks to my producer, Lawrence Campling, and Shelley Willis of the Sacramento Municipal Arts Commission for their help in assembling this top five. I'm Tom Merritt. See you next time.